Hey, how you doing? MT Her, the Credit King here, back with some more great credit and financial enhancement value. And today we're going to talk about how you got here. All right. How did you get to this point right now? And it doesn't matter if you're on EWS, you're on check systems, your credit is crazy. How did you get here? So let's talk about it after this bumper. Welcome back, MC of the Credit King, and this is your first time here, or if this is your, your 90th time here, and you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video as well too, and also make sure you leave a comment, okay? If you leave a comment, it's gonna enter you in our drawing for a special prize, all right? We, we have, we finally got access to some information, also some great prizes that we can give away, so make sure you leave a comment if you got some value, and it's gonna enter you in a drawing for a free prize, all right? It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal, a lot of fun. And so here we go. So how did you get here, right? How did you get to this point to where you're in this banking situation, right? You're in EWS or you're on check systems or you, your credit is, is not looking good, your credit is shabby, or you're on everything, right? You, you may be on either one or you may be uh, on both. Well, here's what I've learned over, over the years since 2002, all right? Just kind of give you a quick story. In 2002, um, I got involved in the entrepreneurial world. And before that time, I was just like everyone else. I had graduated from high school, right? I was, I was the, the A student. I went to college. I went to the Ohio State University. I did the college. I got out of college. What's the first thing you do? I went and got a job, went and got a car, went and got an apartment. Um, a couple of years later after college, I, I became a father, right? I was doing what they told you to do, but I, I, I looked at my 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 dad one day and you know i remember when he finally retired from working and i was like mm, i don't want to be him you know he, he did a great job providing for us when we were coming up me and my me and my siblings but i was like i don't want to be him how can i prevent retiring broke all right i mean and i'm, and I'm not talking negatively about about his situation but it's the truth like how can i retire in in, in earlier and also into a position where I can live the lifestyle I want to. Well, and when I got involved in entrepreneur world, my mentor kind of just brought some things to light. And, and, and it's not just my one mentor. I had a lot of mentors, you know, reading books. And um, I had mentors that were alive. I had mentors that were dead. And I realized that my way of thinking and understanding finances was way off, right? Nowhere in school are we, and I'm talking about me and you, are we taught financial literacy. We are not given financial literacy. We're not taught about taxes. We're not taught about credit. We're not taught about retirement. We're, we're not taught about how to earn interest. Interest. We're not taught about compound interest. We're not taught about anything, right? And so now we become adults and we're living in this world where finance is important, right? We're not taught how to buy a car. We're not taught how to buy a house. We're not taught how to get insurance. I just thought about some other things. There's a lot of things that we were not taught as young people, I'm talking about as, as early as the age of nine about finances, right? So now we're adults and we have to do all these financial things and we are not prepared. The most important word here is we are not financially prepared at all, right? The only thing we know how to do is go to work for someone else. Now, I'm not saying that's all we know, but majority of it, that's it. We know how to go earn a paycheck and then there's nothing else outside that to, to help us. Like, okay, how can we increase that paycheck? What can we do to supplement that paycheck, right? What, what are some other, where all that is left out. So now a situation happens, right? We don't, we, don't have a, we don't have an emergency fund. We don't have a backup. We don't have savings, right? I, 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 everything you see on television is about buy, 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 buy. We get all, and then, and then if we do happen to do well financially, right? We happen to get that good job. Now, now we're increasing our, our liabilities. We're, 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 we're increasing our lifestyle. We, we have the fancy car, we got the fancy house, we got the fancy clothes. And we, 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 uh, we may be making 150,000, right? But we're in the same boat as a person making 30,000 a year. Je I mean, just je the, the debt is like right here, right? You're trying to hold it together for your friends, right? Yeah. Oh, you got, oh, I, every time I see him, he looking nice and blah, blah, blah. She looking nice. He got this. And you go home and, the, and you're drowning. Okay. So, but the thing is that we are not prepared financially at 
all. So now we get to the situation. We get a situation with the bank. Now, I know all the time with your bank situation comes to EWS and checks. This is sometimes some things happen. You might've got a fraudulent check and you cashed it and it bounced and now you're in EWS and checks this, okay? Sometimes that kind of things happen. Maybe you were in a relationship and uh, you let your, 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 your significant other use your account and they messed it up, that kind of stuff happens. But most times it's things that, 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 that you did or we did to the account to have it closed. Now there's a balance. You know why? We weren't prepared financially. Let's talk about your credit. Your credit is messed up because your financial situation is messed up. If you look at most individuals that have bad credit, their financial situation is bad as well too. So what, what we've done here at the TCK Credit Academy is that we've, we've added some, some financial uh, enhancement information, even inside of the, uh, the EWS and Check System program. Now, um, if, if you're doing the DIY, uh, it's, a, it's a separate piece, but if you're doing the one where we're involved in the process, it's included in there because we wanna make sure that you have a nice financial foundation. If, if you fix your credit, and the finances aren't together, the credit will go right back to where it is. If your credit goes, it goes from a 500 to a 600, you know, to the low sevens, right? You're rebuilding it, but your financial situation is still in shambles, right? You still, um, and what I mean by shambles, I'm talking about here, shambles wise, you don't have a savings, you don't have an emergency fund, you don't have a way to bring in extra income, right? Also, you don't understand taxes and things of that nature. Your situation is gonna go right back to where it is. So our goal here is to help you increase your financial knowledge, your, your financial wherewithal so that your, your financial situation catches up to it. Okay. So that's how we got here. You got here because you were not prepared financially. And now you're an adult and you're in this situation and don't know what to do because you haven't increased your financial IQ. This is really important. Increasing your financial IQ. Now, here's a great thing about uh, the world we live in information is everywhere go buy some books go buy some books on taxes go buy some books on finances go buy some books on personal development increase this a lot of people ask you though well mt how do you know this situation right how, how do you know all this stuff i read i have books and books and books and books and books and books of information hold on I know most people don't do this. I know most people when they're on YouTube or whatever, they're like, oh, why you walk away from the camera? Well, this is my channel. I'm gonna do how I want to, okay? I'm gonna just show you some books that I have. All right, ah, there we go. Let me get this book. Let me get this book. Let me get this book. Oh, I do have it. Let me get this book, okay? Um, oh, this is the first book I have. Okay, here we go. So when I first got involved in, started getting involved in business, this is one of the first books I bought. Look at that date, 2004. All right, 2004, it's called Lower Your Taxes Big Time. It was written by a guy named Sandy Bakken. And I got this book because I was like, you know, somebody, uh, a mentor of mine said, hey, if you, if you understand taxes, you can save a lot of money. So I was like, I just, I think this is when Amazon was like just selling books. I got this book off of Amazon, okay? And I read something on chapter one. It says, why you should start a home-based business if you don't already have one. That's chapter one. I was like, home-based business? I said, okay, I'm in one of those. Because at the time, uh, two years prior to that, I had gotten involved in a home-based business. You know, but I was still learning and then, you know, my mental system about taxes and that's why I got this book. And it said, hey, you're on the right path um, if you if you have a home-based business. How to deduct your fund. How to turn your vacation into a, a tax write-off. Great book. A lot of stuff still stands to this day. Even though the tax code changes all the time, a lot of stuff. So this is my first book, okay? Then another book I got was this right here on taxes. This was in 2015. This book right here saved me a lot of money. A lot of money. I mean, as you can see, I, I took this book everywhere. It, was in, it stayed in my book bag. I, I was always reading this book when I was flying around on the plane, at the airport, everywhere I went, I had this book, okay? Cha I mean, changed my life on taxes. I save money on taxes every year because of this book, okay? Then I got another book called Expert Secrets. This is uh, one of my um, funnel mentors teaching me how to build funnels online, you know, so this book is really 
really, really, really good. It's called Expert Secrets, how to build your tribe and how to get your message out to the world. This is where I really start to learn how to really build my, my YouTube channel, my brand and get myself out there. But this book is, is great, okay? Here's another book, little underground book on, on credit cards. Uh, this book right here is amazing, Banking on Yourself, How to Become Your Own Bank. You can become your own bank. This book is amazing, okay? All right? So uh, another one of my mentors, David, uh, David Goggins, you need to read this. This book is, is, is awesome, all right? He's all over, all over Instagram, okay? The Color of Law, uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a black man, I want to know, you know, I, I love reading about history of where we came from in this country, in the United States, even just in the world, so I know how to better help individuals who look like me. All right. So <laughs> I read this book called Color of Law, where they talk about how the gov the, a, a forgotten history of how our government segregated America. All right. This book right here is phenomenal. OK, so I read this book. Uh, actually, my 14 year old daughter got got me this book. All right. The 800 Blueprint on credit. All right. Credit is king. OK, build, protect your credit like the pros. Recruiting for my business. I got this for my kids. Finance 101. You want your kids to be in a better position than you? Start teaching them early. Me and my girls read this book together. All right. And what do they talk about here in this book? <clears throat> chapter five, introduction to credit. All right. Chapter six, dealing with credit. Oh my gosh. Help your kids out. Save your money. Money on our county, stock market, currencies, foreign exchange. Listen. This book right here is phenomenal for your kids. Get this book for your kids. Don't let your kid, don't, don't, don't teach your kids that same BS that you were taught. Help your kids, okay? Uh, ooh, another good book, Brainwashed. Okay, changing the myth of black inferiority. This book is really, really, really good. Love it, okay? How to follow up, credit, message demand, master your credit. This is one I got for my kids. Okay, because it had color, color my credit using crayons. This, this book is good. Okay. All right. So you want to change your situation? Change this. You want to change anything about your life? Change. There, there, there's information in books of somebody who's already done it that you can read and absorb that's going to change your life. I'm going to show you another book I'm reading right now. A really good friend of mine told me about this book. It's called The Four Agreements. This book is very, very good. Very good. I need to think like, Mar, do you read all those books? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, I'm reading about a book a month. All right, every year I read a, a book a month and it keeps my mind sharp, keeps my mind going, keeps my mind always elevated. All right, so I can always continue to get better. So you wanna know how we, you wanna know how to, the best way to get out of the situation is to elevate your mind. Elevate your mind and everything else will elevate. All right, so. I know it's a little bit longer video than I normally do, but I really want to help you out today. I really want to show you that, you know, I'm just not here on just YouTube, just talking. That all of this is a result of information that I've received and I have become that information. I have used that information, all right? And I have applied it to my life. So we're here to help you in this process. We are right now putting together a, a financial enhancement in academy that you can get access to. It's going to have a lot of great information. I'm not a financial planner. I'm just giving you some things that have helped myself and individuals that I've had opportunity to work with over the years. All right, so MCR the Credit King. One day for watching. We'll see you on the next video.